Hello everybody and welcome to another feature video about Gig Performer. My name is Eric, I'm from Germany and in this video I would like to show you a very cool feature of the new version of Gig Performer. You may have already seen some other videos showing fancy widget stuff or maybe nice eye candy. Well, this one, this new feature is not so obvious to find, but if you are using the Gig Performer script language, then this new feature will most probably make your coder's life a lot easier. Well, you can see here, I have already the script window open with a lot of scripts code in it. And the new version, uh, the new feature <laughs> I, I want to talk about, I want to show you is you can now change the font of the content of the script window. You can change the font size and you can change the font style. When I open this dialog, you can see a lot of different fonts which are available now. You can switch them to bold, italic, you can change the size. And this brings quite a few benefits. You know, nowadays it's quite common that people use high resolution monitors, which not only offer more space on screen, but also tend to show things much smaller as they were on your old low res screen. Or maybe as one gets older, it's not only that hair becomes gray, <laughs> no, um, maybe the, eye, the eyes get weaker too. So now you don't have to use your old grandpa's magnifying glass anymore <laughs> if you want to write a script. Just make the font size bigger and you are good to go. Have a look at this. I will switch now to say 23. Well, isn't that literally great? And it also it's also useful for screen presentations, what I'm doing right now. But you know, it's not only size that matters, it's also the style. What you see in the screen, uh, this is the, the default font style, which uh, is represent, uh, represented in the list of fonts as a uh, monospace, that last one here in the brackets. Yeah, it looks nice so far if you have a look at the code. But uh, if you go into detail, this font might, ha might have its flaws. I uh, I have a few examples of what I'm talking about. If you look at these characters here, you might notice that they are quite similar in their screen appearance. Chances are good that you can only hardly tell apart if uh, it's a small letter or a capital letter. And uh, since GP script is working most often in a case sensitive way, this will really matter. Yeah, have a look at how similar the small C and the capital C is or V, W, S, C, U, X, Y, and who knows the three last characters in this row. It's really hard to tell apart from each other. The first one is a small O, then it's a zero, and that's, then it's a, a capital O. It's not so easy to see, is it? So, you know, there is quite a large number of free fonts you can use instead of the default monospace font. Only thing is, it mustn't be a proportional font, like uh, Arial or Times New Roman, which you might know. You'd have to take, like the name of the font list already says, a monospaced font, where all characters have the same width. That's the, the main feature of a, a monospaced font. Okay, you will find a link in the show notes where you can get some free monospaced fonts for downloading. So let's have a look on the difference the font style can make. I will switch over to the big font window and just have a look how different fonts might look like in a whole screen with a lot of code in it. It's not so uh, completely useless here. There you, you don't have uh, a difference between uh, small letters and uh, ca uh, capital letters. Uh, a handwriting font, even if it's <laughs> it might be monospaced, is completely useless. Okay, now it looks better, but not, not really cool. Yeah, some look okay, some look weird, but uh, yeah, that's the good thing. You have the choice now. Use the font that fits your own needs best. Yeah, Just use what you like. Well, I personally uh, like a, a font which is called Hack. It's also available in that link in the show notes. I will just switch over to 
hack and yeah the latter in, in the character comparison there i for my opinion um the difference is much better to see between the the different letters and also the zero is totally clear now if it's a an o or a zero yeah um that's it so far i hope this is something you will like i certainly do and if you like this video please leave us a a, a thumbs up and if you have some questions about this or something else just come over to our support forums where you will find a lot of helping hands and the link to the forums is also available in the show notes maybe this will put a big smile on your face so folks thanks for watching see you next time bye bye